Right, we're going to look at some of the components in the box, what come with the night sight, but before we do that I'd just like to say that this hard case here uh, has gone back to what it was probably maybe one or two models back, so it's more small and compact, which I find a lot better. Uh, it's obviously easier to carry, and if you've got a small car like mine it don't take so much room up. So within the box itself you get the night sight quick start guide which shows you the names of each component uh, and on the back here it gives you the safety information which is obviously always important to read. As standard with each unit you'll get a 4GB SD card with the night sight logo on and the SD adapter uh, what you put your mini SD into uh, which allow you then to take your footage straight off your unit uh, and onto your own computer. You get a warranty card here which uh, you just put a stamp on, uh, fill out and then send it off to Nightsite so they obviously know who's got it. The scope mount, you get two of these but on this one you also get the uh, uh, recoil arresting mount as well or bracket which is always good like I say you get two for different sizes 30 mil or one inch uh, I've only got one here at the minute because I've got one already on the gun charging unit this one's can be switched from UK to European uh, and it comes with obviously both attachments and to swap there's, a, there's actually uh, a button just here what says push to push it down, it's quite stiff, and then so I'm trying to do this through the lens, uh, and then you can see you can take it off to put it on. It's just opposite way around again, snap it on like that, and it's ready to go in a UK plug. You get the rubber bungs, different size diameter scope uh, lenses, or I should say um, the ocular lens. You get the Artec Wolf unit yourself, and it still says Artec on it. Uh, recording button here, on off switch, and just here is where your mini SD card goes. So I'll just show you that now. So I'll just take out the mini SD. I've actually used this already, so I've just put it back in here just to show you how it comes. Just trying to find that where. There we go little press studs on them, plastic press studs let's pop that in there <coughs> so simple as mini SD card push it in and you yeah, click like that and now hopefully you can see that's sat in there on the side of the unit you've got this scroll reel, uh, wheel here and what this allows you to do is once you've got uh, the camera on the back of your ocular lens uh, you can twist this here and it spins the actual lens inside the camera there I'll try and show you that so I'm spinning it now look you can see it's spinning and that allows you to focus your crosshairs uh, in your screen and get really sharp picture <coughs> battery here yeah. the wolf model comes with obviously a nice battery lithium battery this one's 4000 milliamp uh, and this one so it's rechargeable lithium it comes in this pack here uh, with the velcro back uh, and that's how it attaches to your gun I'll show you that in a little while and then you've got the screen itself so looks no different in size to the 850 nanometer Wolf Artec model. You've got on top here the illumination knob so you can turn up uh, the illumination or turn it down whichever way you want to put it. And on this model you've also got a screen brightness button here. So for people who in the past who said that <clears throat> the good thing about the night sight is it's a, you know, it sees a long way and it's clear but the bad thing is that you get a lot of light on your face well with this model now you can turn this button round left or right to whichever 
illumination of the screen you want and it will basically take all that back glare away from your face so that's a really good thing <coughs> it's also got this little clip here I don't actually know the technical name for this but you, it comes with this and you just clip it on your uh, cable and it helps to, to get rid of any uh, sort of like interference towards your picture so it keeps your picture nice and clear so that's how it comes comes uh, packed really well uh, within a box and there's plenty of padding and uh, cushion in there so if it does get dropped in transit uh, it's going to be safe and not damaged so I realise that you can't see my head but we're actually looking at the uh, setting up of the unit itself so you'll see on top I've already got one of the recoil adjusting brackets and a scope bra mounting bracket on there so it's a simple it's just sliding your screen on and lifting up the bracket like so putting on the right size rubber bun for your scope placing on the camera unit and then plugging in the lead like so and then plugging in the battery on the night side so that's it now set up and ready to go now I'm going to show you how to adjust the crosshairs uh, to get a better picture and also how the screen illumination works so you can like I say turn it down so there's no back glare onto your face so I've got the camera now obviously on the tripod set up at the back uh, of the Dark Ops Wolf Artec uh, and before I actually turn it on I'd just like to say that I'm going to be looking over my backs as you can see uh, probably around about 45 yards uh, to some houses uh, some neighbours I know now obviously I'm not looking in their windows and it's not aimed at their windows uh, before anyone thinks any otherwise so first of all I'm going to turn it on the unit and what you will notice is uh, when I zoom in is that the crosshairs are not in focus and I put them out of focus on purpose so make sure the screen's fully turned up uh, and I'm going to try and zoom in slowly and there you will see the, uh, <coughs> the crosshairs are out of focus now I'll just zoom out again so you can see the camera unit come down I'll just move slightly that way right what I'm gonna do with my eye and keeping it live I'm gonna adjust this roller wheel like I said to get it in nice in nicely in focus like so and then while it's live I'm gonna zoom in again now hopefully this camera is good enough for you to see that the crosshairs now are lovely and in focus what I do notice about this 940 uh, model is that the picture in the day seems really good and you could actually uh, use that it would be black and white but it's a really good picture uh, so it's something I've thought about doing now in the future is actually using this and uh, trying it with some daytime black and white shooting now I said to you that there is a screen adjuster for the brightness I'm going to show you that now so hopefully you can see the adjuster just there all I'm going to do is that's fully up now so imagine now if it was night time uh, and there's probably going to be some light thrown back on your face 
so you want to adjust that so you just turn it you see it going down 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 and you can actually turn it so you can't see so there's no way now that anybody can say it's going to throw light back on your face because you could turn it right down like that now the camera's probably not picking this up but that is still a really good picture for my eye I can see that really well and there's plenty uh, of brightness on the screen in my own eye to actually be able to use that to shoot so at night time it would just be probably even better and it's throwing no light back at all but like I say turn it up to full like that <clears throat> and it's a really clear picture I'll zoom in on the scope you can see it doesn't lose any of its sort of like clarity even when you zoom in it's a really good picture that's looking at the roof tiles now like I say about 40 45 yards and that's on time 7 this scope goes from 2 to 7 it's really actually it's, it's a, a Hawk Vantage but it works really well for spotting on 2 gets plenty of light into the scope and then 7's not too much magnification that it makes things too dark uh, but not too less of a magnification that you you don't seem close enough to what you're shooting so some differences what I do with my night sight setup is I add an extra bracket here and it sort of like raises uh, the head of the illuminator and the screen a little bit higher and what this allows me to do then is get my nighttime laser rangefinder uh, basically leveled up with my camera unit so when I'm actually looking through the screen the actual uh, infrared laser beam or dot whatever you want to call it hits roughly the center of my crosshair so it doesn't matter what magnification I have the scope on as whenever the lasers turned on I, uh, I can see it in my scope and I also just find it a lot better I like it a little bit higher up because once the rifles rested say on a fence post it makes the screen just about the right height for my head so I'm not having to sort of like crunch, hunch my shoulders to look down or try and stretch in any awkward position the screen is basically right at the level of my own eye okay while I've been doing the review of this 940 model I've been putting updates on the Vermin Hunters TV Facebook group uh, and a few people have asked me uh, if I could do a comparison looking in the front of the IRs when they both turn up on full between my 940 and my 850 Wolf model so the exact same models but one's 940 and one's 850 now I've tried doing it with a lot of different cameras uh, my, even in my phone, my stills camera, everything and whatever the camera picks up is more than you actually see with your eye so what you're about to see uh, is me filming with the best of the cameras I've got to show what it looks like in reality to your eye but it's still more than you actually see with your eye uh, so I'm going to do that now so first of all this is the 850 uh, and I'm going to turn the 850 on uh, and that's on full and you can see even in the daytime there's quite a lot of IR light I'll just pop that down a second and then I'll pick it up in a minute uh, this is the 940 so that's the 940 so you can just see a dull glow and this is it the 940 850 940, 850, side by side you can see there's a, a lot of difference uh, just turn uh, and the good thing about this is you do see that faint glow you can see that with your eyes uh, me and David did a test at 15 yards uh, and that's what you see but you do get a bright picture actually at night uh, on your screen so as I've said the vermin don't really see that you know at distance that will probably all mingle into one anyway instead of three uh, and it will just look like something like they normally see in the distance you know a long way away 
uh, and as I said you can turn your screen down like so uh, where you've got basically no light at all being thrown on your face you've got no light being thrown at the front uh, and it will allow you to sneak up uh, and shoot them so here we are then this is a few weeks ago I'm on a field what's been shot a lot and I've got the uh, Wolf Artec 850 turn right down and the rabbits are fine, look that one's eating, that one's not bothered but as soon as I turn at the illumination I see that rabbit's ears move forward and he looks and sees the red glow of the 850 IRs he then decides it's a bit dangerous and decides to do a runner his mate then looks up, sees the glow of the IR and then decides yeah I'm not sure what's going on and he runs off as well So this is the same field where I was a couple of weeks ago and the rabbits run when it's seen the IR from the 850. Now this is with the 940 model and you can see that rabbit has no idea I'm there. In a second I'll uh, turn the laser on and I laser him and he's just over 40 meters so around about the same distance as the ones what run away a few weeks ago. I've got the IR turned down just a little bit, it's not far off full uh, but you can see the picture uh, is clear it's a lot clearer as I keep saying uh, in the screen and then his mate turns up you know they just do not know that I'm there where I'm sure because uh, these are really skittish animals that if I'd had the 850 on uh, they would have run I come out there and pan out a little bit look because I was zoomed in there uh, and you'll see there's another rabbit was off to the right hand side of them but it proved the point that the 940 is a lot more covert and can't be seen by the animals okay this is going to be a bit of an experiment what we're going to do later on tonight and this is a google earth image uh, of one of the permissions i shoot on and this is my pig farm permission you'll notice down here that where the fingers are now is there's a metal gate and next to the metal gate just here is the post if we look in north you'll see some hay bales here which have been wrapped up uh, and then come a little bit further north and you'll see a, a pig pen here uh, so these are the two reference points you'll also see that the boundary here is an edge uh, so remember that. So to give you some idea of distance I'm going to click on the ruler, it's in meters and I'm going to put it on the fence post and move to this hay bale here click on it and you can see it's 35.5 meters or for the ones who use yards it's 38.8 yards I'll just put it back to meters uh, and clear that search the next time we're going to come just to the left of these A bales up to this pen here and you'll see it's 56 meters or again in yards 61.6 .6 yards I'll put it back to meters again and clear and then back from the pen fence post straight up to the edge click on it and it's say 91.6 meters or 100 yards right, the rifle's not loaded it's not even got a magazine in the gun and I'm looking over a building site uh, I'm hoping that the picture what you're seeing is as good as I'm seeing actually in the screen but I don't think the recording unit was built into this RTEC unit is HD so it's probably not going to be as clear as I'm actually seeing it in the screen uh, I'm really impressed with the picture I'm seeing and what you're looking at there uh, is a house getting built or a block of maybe a block of flats and they're around about 120 130 yards away so I'll zoom in and you can see it doesn't lose uh, any quality it's really clear in the screen I'm really impressed with it come a little bit closer you can see things so uh, zoom in there and then I'll just just to focus slightly there we go that way nice and clear picture you can read what that says top light quite easily so yeah you could use this for some black and white daytime shooting so 
So I'm looking now at more like air rifle ranges uh, and the cement mixer there I'm guesstimating probably around about 35 yards I zoom in see a nice clear picture still you can almost read the writing play with the focus almost read the writing tiny writing on the side of the cement mixer zoom in adjust the focus look really really nice and clear So here we are then, I'm on the permission uh, and this is me looking at the hay bales at 35 metres or 38 yards. You can see there's plenty of light there, uh, no problem in shooting uh, and having a safe backstop. This is at 55 yards or 61 metres, yet again still really clear. I zoom in and slightly adjust the focus, this is on times 10, still plenty enough light there and clear enough picture actually in the screen, better than you're watching. Uh, on the recording and now I'm going to go to the 100 yard part of the permission zoom in again to times 10 where it does become quite dark uh, and then I adjust the focus then zoom back out again and you can see there I could have spotted a fox or a rabbit uh, and the backstop and identified it clearly the difference between obviously this and the 850 the 850 would be a lot brighter uh, but you would get a lot more glow at the front of the IRs so it wouldn't be as covert as the 940 is now right hopefully you'll be able to see I'm going to turn the screen down uh, and you'll see in the Sony Handycam uh, the screen goes down and it throws nothing on my face like so Turn it down further if I wanted, like so, and I could still quite easily shoot 35, 55, and even 100 yards. I can see, which is like what do we say, 90, 91 meters or something. No problem. Turn it up and have it really bright. Now, I'm going to press record as well, uh, and you'll probably see a difference between what the Sony Andy Cam's filming uh, and what the actual recording unit within the camera module records. So, it's quite bright, uh, but there is a little bit of grain uh, on the picture. And to get rid of that, all I do is turn the brightness down. The IR is turned fully up, and I just turn the brightness down on the screen. You can see that it starts to get a lot better, and the graininess removes, and disappears, until you turn it down like that, and then there's none at all. Now the IR is still on, uh, and obviously it's still reaching. If you wanted to, you could do it another way by turning the screen fully up, turning the IR down, like so, a little way, and then turn the screen down. That way you've hardly got anything showing at the front, probably nothing really, uh, but a nice crisp picture.
Oh, look at that. Still rolling it. He's out for the count. That's 40 metres, one milled up. Compact of target. Oop. Mr. Fox. I wonder if he's gonna rob. Okay, I'm doing a bit of zeroing and I'm going to zero the rifle at one and a half mil dots which is 40 metres or 44 yards. There, has, there is a little bit of wind right to left. So, I'm going to see where he fought. Yep, that looks about perfect. I do. No rats about at all tonight. Nothing. Just manipulate the uh, IR. Two hundred and fifty seven meters away. Now I can see that in the screen really clearly, but you're probably not going to get the same clarity from the recording as I'm seeing in the screen. Oh, took his eye straight out. Well folks, it's coming to the end of the review now, but before we finish, I just want to give some of my final thoughts on my time testing, reviewing and using this 940 Dark Ops model. I think that it's got a place in any serious Vermin Hunters arsenal. It's definitely going to give you the advantage at night if you're shooting on permissions where the Vermin are skittish. And as you've seen in the review, you don't get much IR glow from the front, but you get a nice bright... Uh, and as I've said, clear picture at the back. I don't actually think I've probably done uh, the unit justice in showing the picture uh, through my lens because like I said, the camera just doesn't show it as, as well as you actually see. And because the recording unit uh, inside the camera module is not HD, it still doesn't catch the actual quality of the picture you get. So as I've tried to convey, and please believe me, whatever the camera is actually filming, shows a lot better actually on the screen you're looking at with your eye than it does from the recording you'll take off it. Hopefully in the future Nightsight will be putting 
uh, HD recording units in the camera models, I don't know, I'm just saying I hope. Uh, and But then you would get obviously a lot better picture when you're trying to review and show other people. But please believe me, the, the picture quality when you're looking, uh, as long as you play with the uh, illumination of the IRs and the screen brightness, turning the screen down does uh, get rid of any sort of like grainy picture and make a quite sharp nice uh, picture which is uh, nice to look at and easy to identify uh, detail especially at further distances. You don't get uh, as much light thrown even when this is on full as you would if you was using say an 850 nanometer model uh, but if people you know read about it that's the standard thing 850 does throw further uh, than 940 but you don't get obviously the covertness uh, with the 850 as you do with this 940 so would I recommend this definitely especially as I said for people who shoot on permissions what's shot quite a lot uh, the vermin are used to seeing a glow and then running off uh, and this here will give you that advantage of getting that shot where with the 850 you might not have got it. So regarding then the prices within the UK you'll see that there's three different models and two options. Each one of the model has an elite option. An elite option costs £200 more. For that £200 you get the night sight, nighttime laser range finder uh, and a rat's tail lead. You get an in-car charging lead and also a new universal clamp 